you know, when you're out like looking for apartments and you're doing that thing where you're like, okay, I think my desk will fit here, put the bookshelf here, and then maybe the kitchen island will go here and the desk uh, here, side table here. You're doing all that and that's great when you're like looking at a lot of different places, but when you really want to narrow it down, you can't really just rely on what you think might fit. Because what will happen to many of us is we're going to get in there and start putting things where we thought they were going to fit. And we're going to quickly realize that it's not going to fit correctly and we're going to have to adjust the way we live. We're going to have to remove some of our furniture, get rid of it and change it out for different shaped or sized furniture. I have devised a method. This is a little floor plan that I created to help myself decide what's going to work for me and what's not going to work for me. You're looking at Photoshop right now, but you don't need Photoshop. I'll show you an easy way to do this for free on the internet. I've created all my furniture. Now this took a little while, but after doing this once, I can place this into any number of different apartment floor plans. It's really easy and I'll show you how to do all that. But this allows me to like put things in there and see if they're gonna fit because I've measured everything and I know the measurements of the floor plan. So if I if I don't wanna mess with, with this floor plan, I wanna try another one. Well, it's really easy just to import another floor plan just by taking an image from another website and putting it in here. And here's the other place. Let's see, okay, king size bed over here, nightstand here. Is the elliptical gonna fit in there? Oh, that's gonna be tight. It's probably gonna bump into stuff. Workout bench, just put it in the living room, why not? So you can start rearranging stuff. There's my shelf, rotate the shelf there. There we go, put it on the wall. So you can do this with a few different places and that'll help you narrow things down so you can really make the right decision when it's time to move. So let's jump in and create the grid and start creating our furniture. Before we get started, let's head over to Hookies and unlock our copy of Windows. By using coupon code TS25, you can get 25% off these prices here. I use Windows 10 Pro. You can also get Windows 10 Home, and both of these will upgrade to Windows 11. You can get that whenever you're purchasing your key. Also, I wanna note that if you get Windows 10 Home and you upgrade it to Windows 11, they will force you to use an online account. With Windows 11 Pro, however, you can use a local account, just so you know. You can also get Office 2019 with that same discount. So go ahead and put TS25 in here as your coupon code, hit it apply, and then you can see we can get Windows 10 Pro for $14.85. Once you're finished, if you wanna access your key, you click on your name on the top right, Right, click on user center and you'll see my purchase orders right here you'll be able to view the keys that you've purchased just by clicking on view keys and codes and you will see your code right here just go ahead and copy this code press start type activate and you'll see activation settings come up click on that then click change product key right there you can paste in your code and hit next and then you will be activated it's very simple so don't pay those retail prices for your copy of windows or office head over to whokeys.com and use coupon code ts25 so let's hop in. This is called PhotoP. It's photop.com. And this is essentially Photoshop, but for free, and right here inside your browser. If you have Photoshop, you can go ahead and use that. But this is going to be very similar, so I'm going to do what I'm going to do right here. I'm just going to go File, New, and I guess I'll just create a, a 1080p image. I don't know. 1920, a 1080. And then I'm going to click on Create. There we go. There's our screen. Oh, that's bright. So, <laughs> Grid, yeah. We don't need to really need the background on there, but it's essentially Photoshop. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to get a grid. So I like to use this website, freeiconspng.com, to download a grid with a transparent background. And I also like this blue grid. It will not conflict with any of the black lines that we're going to have on our screen. So I'm going to download this PNG right here. There we go. Download it. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. I open that up in here. I'm going to copy it, copy that, and paste it in here. You may have to click on the layer to paste it. But there it is. So my idea here with this grid is that each one of these squares is one foot square. Now I'm going to hold on my Alt button, click on it, and drag away, and then I'll make a second one. And what I'm going to do is here is just like try to line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm going to try to make just a full thing here so we have a pretty good idea. If you, need to, if you need to zoom in, hold on the Alt key and scroll your mouse. There we go. As perfect as possible. That's good enough. So we're just going to make a grid out of this. It won't let you do like sometimes you're having trouble struggling. Like I'm like I am right now to like be able to grab this and move it. It's make sure you're using the right tool. There we go. I think we're good enough right there. Now hold on the shift button and click on all these. Right click on them and you want to merge this merge these layers. Now we have this grid. They're all merged and we just say each one is one foot square. I'm going to move this to the side here. Clicking on it and dragging. Well, if I could get it. If you can't get it, just hold on the left or right button. Now what I'm going to do is kind of ridiculous. I'm going to make all of my furniture. So this is the fun part. You get to run around your house with a clipboard and a tape measure. Measure 
everything you want to take. Measure it length, width, also height. Why height? You can't see it on there? Well, when you go to your new place, you can look around at the heights and just list the height on there. But it seems a little ridiculous, but you need to measure everything that you want to take with you and write it down. So then come back to your computer, sit down here with all of your detailed information, and now we can start making our furniture. I'm only going to make a few pieces for demonstration, but I'll show you what I mean here. So in order to make your furniture, I create a new layer. It's empty there. You can double click on it and title it. This is going to be my kitchen table. Here we go. Kitchen table. And the kitchen table is five by three, five feet by three feet. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to literally drag one, two, three, four, five by three. That is my kitchen table. And now I'm going to color that in. So I'm going to come over here to the right, right here, this little gradient tool. If you click and hold on it, come down and click on paint bucket, click a color. So I'm going to do all of the stuff that's going to be uh, just uh, green. Why not? All my furniture is going to be green. And then any furniture that goes on top of furniture, like hutches and TVs and stuff, I'll make those red so that they stand out. There we go. We've got that, our kitchen table, and I'm going to paint that in. There we go. So that's my kitchen table. And we need to label this. See there I'm doing right here? I'm clicking on that to switch green and white. Click on the text tool here. Click inside here. Just type kitchen table. Got two lines so we can see it. And just so we know it's five by three by 30 inches tall. I like to put that on there just so I can know how tall it's going to be when it gets into my place. Now these two are on top of one another, but I need to group them together. So come over here and control click both of those so that they're both highlighted. Right click on this, and as long as it's correct, convert that to a smart object. Now those two things are linked. So if I click on one and move it around, it moves the whole thing around. I'm just gonna put that on the side for now. So now we're gonna do my desk, which is five by, that's four by two. It's just a little desk, four by two, computer desk. And then we'll get our paint bucket tool. Make sure to make a new layer. You don't want to be coloring in on the same other layer. That's a desk. I'm just going to call that my computer desk. Move that back over. Click inside here. If you don't have enough room to put like all the stuff, you can just put how tall it is. It's 29 inches tall. Because you can see how big it is, right? You know, just by how, how it is on there. Then click on these two layers again. Computer desk 29, layer number one and just create a smart object again. There we go, computer desk, 29 inches. Click on the moving tool over here on the, on the top left. Move that over here, it's now out of the way. Click on the selection again, control D. Now let's do a couple of side tables. These things, I'm not gonna have enough room to, to met, you know, like put the numbers in there, but there it is, just one by one, a little side table. Now it's just a side table. I'll title the, the layer over here, but we're not gonna have enough room for, for text. Double click on it a couple of times. There we go. Double click on it. And guess what? We have two side tables. So click on your movement tool over here. Move it around. Hold on the Alt button. Click and drag. And now we have two side tables. They're on the same layer, so you may have to cut one out. Like this. Just cut one. Control X and Control V. Now we have two layers. This is side table two. All right. There's two side tables. And you got to keep on going for all your stuff. Let's also do a couch, futon couch, five by two and a half. Just kind of get it as close as you can right there. There we go. Five by two and a half. That's my futon couch. Make a new layer. Make sure you got the green selected. Click on your paint bucket, paint it in, rotate that back around. Get out my text tool, click on this, and I'm going to type futon. So I can see how tall it is. I know it's 47 inches tall. Bring these two together now. Control click, right click. Create smart object. There's our futon. All right, so that's great. Now, how do we put these into the different places? So you're looking at some, some places, right? And they've got floor plans. Well, how do you know how big the floor plan is? Well, you can ask them, you know, how big the floor plan is. But if they don't know, which, you know, 80% of the places I went to had no idea how big the stuff was. They were like, oh, it's like, you know, a thousand square feet. I'm like, well, how long is this wall right here? How long is that? And they're like, I don't know. So it's really annoying, but you know, when you're going and you're looking for stuff, just bring your tape measure with you and measure this wall. So I found out that this wall was 15 feet long. That's all I need to know. I just need to know one wall. So I'm gonna right click and, and copy this image. Come back over here, 
and paste that image. It goes right in there. It's huge. Hit Edit, come up here to Transform, and then click on Scale. Now bring this down just a little bit. Oh, it's all the way down here. Be careful, it's trying to get away. If you're someone who's a pro at Photoshop, you're like, yeah, I know Control-T, but it doesn't work inside your browser. Control-T will just make things weird. So we're going to need to make this a little bit smaller. But before I do that, I'm going to double click it so that it's deselected. And then I'm going to click on Select, and I'm going to do Color Range, and I'm going to click on the white. I'm going to want to get rid of all that white so I can see the grid behind it. OK. All the white is selected. Press the Delete key. There we go. And then press Control D to deselect it. Now we can see what's going on here. Now we need this wall right here to be 15, right? So right now it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need to shorten it to this amount right there. It needs to be from here to there. So image, come back. I mean, sorry, go to edit, transform, and do scale again. And it all scales uniformly. Just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One more. There we go. Now this wall, right there. Now this wall is 15. And since we've scaled it uniformly, all the other walls are going to match up. And now we can start messing around. Just put this wherever you like. And now we can be like, all right, where do we want our kitchen table? Let me just, too many things are selected. If it gets all messed up, you got to come over here and click on the side. Kitchen table, grab it. How does it look right here? Does that work? It's going to be room for our, hmm, maybe not. It's too big, you know, now that I'm looking at it, kitchen table is just too big. I moved from a house down in, in suburbia to downtown. You know what? Now I know that kitchen table is just not going to work. My computer desk, click on that. Let's just make sure we got the computer desk only selected. Bring that over here. Right there in the corner. How does that work? Give it a little bit of space for cords and stuff in the back. Yeah, that works pretty good over there. How about our futon? Let's click, make sure the futon is selected. Bring it over here. We can start moving stuff around. You want to turn this to a different way, you know, a different angle. Hit Edit, Transform, Rotate. That's a bit big. I'm not sure why it's selecting the entire thing, but whatever. It should just select just the one thing. It's fine. There we go. Rotate it enough to get an idea. It's kind of goofy, but double click on it and then you can just move it around. So that's how I do this. And then I lay things out inside here. Get one of those side tables. Is there room? Can I put a TV over there? Maybe if I back this up a little bit. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, we got our side tables. Just get your desk and stuff in there. You put your bed in here. Now you've got this one. Let's say you want to look at a different one. You're like, okay, that one, don't know if this is going to work. So we're just pretend you're looking at a different place. You're like, let's try this one instead. Just right click on it, copy image. Come back over here. I'm going to um, deselect the one that I just put in there. That's layer one. You can title this, you know, like, what's the name of this place? It's called the goat something. I don't know. Goat blocks. 750. That's a 750 square foot. So goat blocks. Make it invisible. Place the other one on there. It's huge. Edit. Transform. Scale. Scale it down. Let's try it one more. Select. Uh, color range and get rid of the rest of that white. There we go. All the white's gone. Now I know this wall was 20 feet. This is going to get in the way, but you know, this is 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this line needs to go here. So let's go back up and edit, transform, scale. Is it 20? Just say it is, just for the sake of the video. There we go. Right on the edge there. There, perfect. Good enough. This will give us an approximation. Now I can click on my futon over here. Drag it over. Where is it going to go? You know, rotate it if you need to. Where's my computer desk? This is literally how I figured out where to put everything. Just like this. Side table. There we go. You know what? Hey, the kitchen table can probably fit now. Put it over here. It's basically a video game at this point with that one. Yep, side table two. Cool. Now we can lay things out. It's going to be annoying and you'll end up filling this area up with all your different possessions. And I'll, let me show you one more thing. Like I said, if you wanted to have like a, a TV or something that goes on top of a desk or a 
or whatever. You could do that. I mean, it's not as necessary, but let's just create one more layer here and I'll make a TV and show you how I do my TVs. My TV, my LCD, it is pretty big, but it's also flat. So that's how big it is. <laughs> it's really small. And then I like to make that red. So I'll click on this and go to red. There we go. You can make it any color you want. So that's too Christmassy. How about purple? There we go. Don't want to get into the Christmas spirit just yet. Click it. There we go. Purple. That's our television. I'm going to title this TV. It's really small. I think I know what it is. So I'm not even going to call it TV. I'm just going to say what it is. And then make sure it's, you know, like these layers, if you put them lower, it'll be behind things. So you want to make sure that it's above. Like if you want it to go on your kitchen table, like because you're weird, make sure that the layer is, is above whatever you want to put it on or else it'll, it'll be hidden. So there it is. That's our TV. I can put it around. Let's see. Oh, it's behind my computer desk. Raise it up a little bit. Let's put it all the way up. Things in purple should go on the top. There we go. Now we got our big TV on top of the computer desk. Just really easy to lay things out this way. And then we also know this is 47 tall. If there's a, a bump on the window or something, we'll, we'll know if it gets in the way, you know, that kind of stuff. So anyway, I laid my entire place out like this. And then when I got there, I just was easily able to unload everything and put things where they need to be. I'm like, okay, kitchen table, that goes here. My uh, futon goes right here. You know, side table goes right here. Perfect, perfect, great. Computer desk over here in the corner. Oh, that screen right there on top. It, it made things so much easier. So even though this was a lot of work in the first place, it paid off because it helped me select a much better place that's more conducive for what I need to do. And then once I got there, it made unloading much better because I already had everything laid out and I knew where things would fit. I didn't have to like put things into an area and be like, it doesn't fit, oh, I've got to redo everything. I didn't have to deal with any of that nonsense. And I have done that in the past. I've gotten to a place and started putting things there and I'm like, so upset right now because I didn't realize my desk won't fit. And in order to make this work, I'm going to have to either get a new desk or completely rearrange things. Don't go through that headache. Put some effort in, do this first, and then you will be so happy when you get to the new place. And if you already know Photoshop and stuff, go crazy in Photoshop. But if not, photop.com is a little bit more difficult to use, but not by much. And it is a very cool application on the web. So check it out. All these links are going to be in the description. Just follow what I said in this video and have a nice life, y'all. All right, let's do a little bit of sale too, because you know, when you get to your new place, you got to have some cool new stuff in there. So let's do a sale on mouse pads and mice. Get your new mouse pad, nice desk mat or something like that. Just add it to your cart. Come up here and click on your cart and put in the coupon code Happy Mice. We want to make your mice happy with these fancy mouse pads. So apply that and you'll get half price on the mice and the mouse pads over at epicpants.com. Thank you all so much for hanging out for a little while. I hope this helps you lay out your new place and I hope it helps you make a good decision. Let me know if this is something you've done before because I haven't met anyone who's done it. And let me know if this has helped you in the comments. Thanks very much. We'll see you later.